What's up YouTube? Thanks for watching this video. You found this video because you want to set up your preferences in Fireworks CS6, so let's do that. I'm on a Mac, so it would be Fireworks Preferences. If you're on a PC, it would be Edit Preferences. So we go to Fireworks Preferences. Before we did this video, I set all this stuff up perfectly for me. I'm a web designer, and all these settings here, they're perfect. The only thing I could have done differently is added some folders with some patterns and textures. Um, I wouldn't bother with this. Okay, so besides it's not supported after Photoshop 6. See, add, add Photoshop plugins. Plugins for Photoshop 6 and up are not supported. So let's start with general. A show start page, definitely. Scale strokes and effects, yes. 20, yes. Any more than that? I don't know, I think it's kind of excessive. Bicubic, best for smooth gradients, yes. Fast but less accurate resampling, leave it unchecked. You get uh, better quality when it's set like this. Saving files, add preview icons, save per page thumbnails, append.fw.png, which is a, uh, a specific file that was created for, for, for fireworks, excuse me. And um, this is just a way for us to identify our files, uh, whether we're looking for them or we just, you know, we're trying to figure out what's what. Saving files and having these checked is good. User interface, I keep both these checked. I like it in tabs and I like the auto collapse icon panels. You click on something on the right here, it pops out and it'll stay there if this is unchecked, if workspace is unchecked. So we keep that checked and then if we click away from it, it goes back into the panel group. Color defaults, stroke, highlight, fill, zoom, leave that. Let's go to the edit category. Options, leave all of this as default because I didn't touch this either. Pick distance, five. This is great if you're not sure what this is. If you're moving your cursor around your canvas over objects or images, it will select the object or image five pixels before it actually reaches it, which is kind of nice. Guides and grids, here's where you customize your guides and grids, all the colors. Snap distance, five pixels for your guides and grids. You can change the settings and guides and grids here for the size of your grid. Let's go to type. Letting, not sure why they're still using that word, because line spacing is more accurate. So that's what that is, it's line spacing. Uh, baseline shift, leave this. Options, show font names in English, of course. Font preview size, large. Number of recent fonts, six is perfect. If you go any higher than that, it tends to get a little crowded in that area. Default font, um, I'm gonna use Arial. I don't know why I didn't change that before. Photoshop, import open, general, show import dialog box. Yeah, all this stuff here, leave this the way it is by default. Launch and edit, If just like Photoshop, um, do you want it to ask you? or do you want it to just do it? That's all both these are, okay? Plugins, if you have a folder full of textures, this is where you put it. If you have a folder full of patterns, this is where you put it. Photoshop plugins, add Photoshop plugins. Plugins for Adobe Photoshop 6 and up are not supported. So uh, I wouldn't bother with this. When you're done, click okay, and you're all set. Now what I meant before, this opens up. If you click away, it snaps back. I like that. Otherwise, it just sits there and I don't know, it could get in the way. So that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you jotted down my settings and applied them to yours. Any questions, please post them in the comments below and subscribe to my channel. Also check out anthonymarchese.us. Take care, guys. See ya.